Hey guys, welcome to another World of Warcraft mod review and tutorial. Today we will be looking at X-Pearl, a very powerful mod that allows you to adjust your unit frames. Okay, so what is a unit frame? A unit frame is basically a frame, a little meter that shows the status of a player, an NPC, or yourself. Uh, these meters is something that you can see on the Blizzard UI default uh, up over on your top left corner of your screen basically showing your own profile and then who you're targeting as well as any pets and if you're joined to a group it'll show the groups uh, unit frames uh, beneath your profile and this is usually located up again on the top left corner of the blizzard uh, default UI now why do you need a mod like xpearl xpearl allows you to adjust and customize these unit frames you can move them around make them look different and that's what makes it very powerful because as a healer, I it was a pain in the ass to uh, click on people to heal on my top left corner of the screen when I could easily do it in my preference on the bottom right corner of my screen. And also allows me to move my frames so I could see them better, especially in raids or when I'm doing a dungeon uh, with five other, uh, four other people. Now there are other unit frame mods out there such as Pitbull and uh, Healbot. But I personally like X-Pearl because it's an all-around package and it looks professional and you can make it look professional and you can still also customize it. Now if you want, take a look at Pitbull. Uh, you can make it look very pretty. You can make the profile appear on the meters and stuff like that. But I don't need all that when I'm raiding or playing in the game. I just need to look at pertinent information, be able to digest it easily and then do with it what I will while I'm raiding or uh, doing instances. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at X-Pearl. Now, if you just install this and you're logged on, you're going to go, holy crap, what the hell is all this shit? Now, don't get overwhelmed. There's a lot, like I said, there's a lot to this uh, mod, so you're going to have to do a lot of customizing, a lot of tweaking, and a lot of, uh, you know, massaging to get the way you want it to look. So, uh, let's go ahead and pull up X Pearl. So, uh, if you uh, just installed it and then loaded up your screen and loaded in, um, you might already have it open, but if you don't, you just go into chat, type slash xperl, and it'll bring up uh, the uh, configuration uh, window. Okay, when you first take a look at the configuration window, you're probably going to go, oh my god, there's so much shit here. Yeah, there is a lot of shit, like I said. It is a, a huge mod, and there's a lot to it. And uh, you can customize it, you can turn off certain things, and uh, it's pretty much all uh, modulized into uh, different aspects of uh, unit frames. So uh, let's take a look at uh, how the configuration window is laid out first so that we can get the basics out of the way. If you first uh, go ahead and take a look here, there's already tutorials included in XPearl. So you can turn those on, or if it's already on, uh, go through them. It'll pop up tips and stuff and uh, help you out along the way. Okay, first of all, the main window here is what you see here. Okay, um, this is the main uh, window where you do all the setups and stuff. You see, I have all the tabs up here for uh, every different aspects of XPearl and different aspects of uh, customizing the different unit frames as well as some tools that help you for rating. Okay, over here on the left, uh, let's take a look at the left side here, the top left here. You'll see this uh, raid alignment thing here. This will change often depending on which tab you're in. If you're in the players tab here, you'll see it has player alignment. Some of these tabs do not have a left side uh, adjustment bar here. Uh, like uh, my pet bar don't have any adjustments here. My target of target don't have any adjustments. But if I go to uh, party, I actually have adjustments here. These are basically to adjust the main layout of the look of a uh, uh, unit frame especially something like a party or your raid frames um, you'll be able to adjust the spacing and anchor them to the top or bottom or wherever you're at and then scale it okay under that you'll see the profiles so you can save different profiles and then load them up whenever you need to depending on uh, what you're doing because some people might want to have different profiles for PvP or for raiding and also for different specs and uh, different uh, alt tunes Okay, let's first look at the global tab. Now, the global tab is basically the global settings for all the unit frames that uh, XPearl is going to deal with. Okay, so you can change the bar texture, the bar background, and um, other things such as uh, uh, combat flashing frames. Uh, when you're in combat, it flashes, uh, show the fat bars or show the skinny bars. Okay, if you notice here, if you look over here, and I uh, toggle off the fat and skinny bars, 
uh, it may, just fat bars just makes it uh, so that you could see more of the bars instead of uh, having this little slick look there. Um, so you have to go through these uh, settings here and uh, play with it. Now uh, one thing that I want to uh, point out on this global settings tab is uh, down here called rangefinder. Now I'm pointing this out because it's uh, pretty important for uh, healers. Uh, a little tool for healers here as well as you know just to check if anyone anyone is uh, already ready or close around you uh, basically you could set up the range finder so that uh, if someone's out of range uh, it will fade at a certain amount that way you could tell if the, they are like out of range so uh, basically what you do is uh, click range finder here and then it may enable it and then you could say uh, only show during raid frames uh, when you're raiding uh, but it also works for the party and stuff, so I leave it unchecked because I always like uh, you know having to know if any you know everyone's there and currently ready to go, whether or not it's an instance or a raid. Now you could also uh, set it up so that uh, you could have it uh, show where it should be dimmed. For example, do you want it to dim the whole player frame that is out of range, or uh, just the name, or just the stats frame? I leave it whole frame. Um, because uh, I just like uh, it's easier for me to see when someone's out of range, especially when you're in a raid with 25 people. So if you select a whole frame, you'll have uh, more options here that you have to still uh, set up. If you checked uh, name or uh, stats frame, then uh, it wouldn't have these options here to the right. So let's go to the next option over here, and basically it's asking you uh, what do you want to use to uh, determine if they are out of range or not. Now you could set it say 10 yards or 30 yards. If they're 10 or 30 yards out of range, then uh, go ahead and dim their uh, unit uh, frames. Now if you select a spell or item, it's going to ask you which spell you want to use uh, for it to check the range. Basically if the spell has a range of say uh, 8 yards, then it will only check 8 yards if that's the spell you selected. For example here I have Holy Light. Holy Light is a 40 uh, yard range spell so that I can check people around me that are 40 yards or, uh, or more within uh, uh, my ratio so that I'll know whether or not they are uh, out of range or not. Um, so you just click here and then uh, just select the the uh, spell that you want uh, to use as the checker. Now you can also adjust the fade amount and how much they are faded when they are out of range. For example, now I have uh, offline characters here on my raid uh, here. So if I just lighten and fade it to say 10%, you barely see them, but you will know for sure that they are totally out of range. Now another really cool thing, uh, especially for healing, is uh, clicking this here, the health check. Okay. Now. Um, Basically, if you click this, uh, it will only highlight and keep people um, uh, highlighted or not faded uh, when they are in range and if they are at a certain amount of health. So basically, if they're under, like, say, 25% health, if you set this for, sorry, yeah, 25% health, then only people that are in range and are at 25% or lower in health will keep uh, lit up. That way you'll know to heal them right away because they're at 25% health. It's a great tool for healers. Now the other cool helpful feature for healers is the debuff check. Basically it says uh, keep this uh, character highlighted if they are debuffed and I can cure them and they are in range of me to do so. So uh, if you click this it will uh, just keep people highlighted or uh, brightened uh, that uh, need to be decursed or cleansed. 